questions. Starting with Justin. And now I never know how to pronounce it. Is it Olafi, Kansas? Is that correct? You know, I was glad you were going to have to because <laughs> I I thought, you know, I I messed up Guinness or Guineas or Guineas whatever was pretty it was funny. I the did Guineas last Book week. of World Records, yeah. yeah. I think it's Olafi, chat room. It's Olafi, right? Anyway, he says I've received an automated email. This is interesting. From I mean, let me close out the slideshow mode. Thank you. I don't want to see a slideshow. Um, I received an automated email from Amazon saying, as part of a routine monitoring, which they perform on email addresses and passwords included in lists of non-Amazon related breaches and hacks. Wow. They found the yeah. email associated with my Amazon account and preemptively reset my password. Whoa. Whoa. It's the first time I've ever encountered a site that proactively scanned the lists. Maybe they were using uh, Troy Hunt's Have I Been Pwned.com, he posits, or a similar list to Amazon maintains. Are you aware? Is this a common practice among companies with large web presences like the Amazons of the world? I can't wait for Squirrel to be widely available and hopefully provide a robust solution to these continual password woes. I might so, add to that, by the way, Amazon turned on two factor authentication. Just yes, may, or you mean may, made available two-factor authentication. Right, they didn't turn it on. You have to turn it on, but it's now available, which is good news. So uh, 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 Ju Justin's note was nice enough to enclose the email uh, from Amazon, which says, this is an important message from Amazon.com. At Amazon, we take your security and privacy very seriously. As part of routine monitoring, we discovered a list of email address and password sets posted online. While the list was not Amazon related, we know that many customers reuse their passwords on several websites. We believe your email address and password set was on that list. Wow. So we have taken the precaution of resetting your Amazon.com password. We apologize for any inconvenience this has caused, but felt that it was necessary to help protect you and your Amazon account. To regain access to your Amazon account or Amazon customer account, it says one, go to Amazon.com. And I love that they didn't say click this link. Good. They said go to Amazon.com and click the your account link at the top of our website. Click the link that says, forgot your password. Follow the instructions to set a new password for your account. Please choose a new password and do not use the same password you <laughs> used with us previously. Reasonable. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. we're gonna, you're going to get another email <laughs> from us I tomorrow. I hope so, yeah. We also highly recommend that you choose a password that you are not using on any other sites. We look forward to seeing you again soon. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully the person doesn't disappear forever now. Uh, sincerely, Amazon.com. So, first of all, uh, very impressive. I mean, th th this being proactive like this is, yeah. you know, I, I, I echo your reaction upon learning of this, yeah. Leo. Good, good job, like, Amazon. Wow. Yeah. And very nice that they didn't say click this link. The, the danger is that... If this practice became widespread, then it's a perfect way for for fishers, you know, P H I, uh, P H I S H E R's, fishers, uh, to send phishing mail where they would make a slight change and say, click this link to go to Amazon.com, and then of course send you to Amazon.com or or some slight variation. Uh, and hope that you don't notice the difference and then, uh, you know, tell you to enter, you know, log on with your old credentials so you can change it to your new ones. And, of course, that would allow them access. So anyway, very, very you know, impressive. And 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 I just loved how proactive they were. 